Hi, this is Ron Yulbrick, and today we're going to look at SE International's Radiation Alert Ranger. This is a completely revamped version of its previous model that gives it a fresh and modern look, plus implementing a lot of nice features. So stay tuned as we cover every part of this instrument. At Geiger Counter Pro, we make discovering radiation enlightening and exciting. The Ranger is a great all-around Geiger counter that is built around the industry-popular 2-inch GM Pancake Detector. This detector is identical to all other GM Pancake Pro models built in the U.S., many costing much more, so you get identical performance without having to pay more. The Pancake-style detector is optimized to detect alpha, beta, gamma, and X-ray radiation, making it an ideal and all-around good detector. It has a very thin mica window on one side, through which even alphas and low energy emissions can penetrate, thus making it a great choice for measuring radiation activity and contamination. All GM pancake detector windows are very fragile and are easily punctured, so a screen is placed in front of it for added protection. Be careful not to touch anything directly on the face of the detector. If it gets punctured, it makes a loud popping noise as all the counting gas is released, after which the instrument will need to be sent back for replacement, which can be very pricey. For added protection, the Ranger comes equipped with a snap-on protective detector cover. Be sure to always put the cover back on whenever the instrument is not actively being used. The Ranger comes with a carrying case to protect it while not in use. The case has a built-in clip so you can conveniently carry it with you so it's readily available whenever needed. You also get a small lanyard so you can carry it around on your wrist if you prefer. The instrument also comes with a nice rubber boot to protect it from scratches and drops. It slips on and off pretty easily and needs to be removed whenever replacing the batteries. The Ranger runs on two AA size batteries that provide about 800 hours of use under normal background radiation levels. Changing out the batteries is really quick and easy. First, make sure the instrument is shut off. Second, remove the boot cover. Then slide off the battery hatch located on the back side. Replace the two batteries and then put it back together. One of the things I really like about the Ranger are the instrument controls which are cleverly arranged around the radiation trifold graphic. It neatly places the six separate controls in a very intuitive and straightforward fashion and requires little if any training. Turning it on is accomplished by pressing down the center button and holding it for about three seconds until you hear a beep. You follow the exact same procedure to turn it off. When the instrument is activated, you see a red LED flashing accompanied by the familiar Geiger counter clicking sound as each radiation event is detected. The display screen also comes alive, informing you of the instrument model, serial number, firmware version, and date. I really like the display. It's got a nice size LCD with large bold measurement values and units. If you find yourself in a darker area, simply press the control with the light icon momentarily and it will stay lit for about 7 seconds. If you want to have it stay on permanently, press and hold the light button for about three seconds until you hear the beep. The light will now stay on until you either turn off the instrument or press and hold the light button again for about three seconds to turn it off. Owners get a lot of value from its versatility. The mode button allows you to see contamination readings in either counts per minute or counts per second, and your exposure rates in either micro R per hour, milli R per hour, or if you prefer the international units, you can switch to micro sieverts per hour. Simply keep pressing the mode button until you get the desired measurement mode. The Ranger has a built-in alarm that can be activated via the alarm button. Once pressed, it will display the alarm value for the measurement units you have selected. You can either press the plus or minus buttons to adjust the alarm value, and when it's correct, simply press enter via the center button. Anytime the instrument is in the alarm mode, an alarm icon is posted across the top of the display. To shut the alarm mode off, Press the alarm button again, followed by the center button. You can likewise turn the audio clicking on and off by pressing the audio icon button. The count button is for taking long counts for better statistical accuracy, such as when measuring smears and other samples. When you press the count button, you'll see the count time screen. This count time interval value can be reset by moving this cursor to the seconds, minutes, or hour time segment of choice, then pressing the plus or minus buttons. Once the counting interval is correct, press enter to begin the count cycle. Once initiated, you'll see the hourglass icon flashing across the top of the screen and a countdown timer displaying the remaining time across the bottom. 
When the count cycle is completed, you'll hear a double beep and see the total counts measured over that time period. The menu button also gives you access to other advanced functions which include auto averaging, data logging, picking an efficiency, activating Bluetooth, and returning the instrument to its default settings. Fortunately, the default parameters work just great right out of the box and most users won't need to bother with all the menu options. See the links below for other videos on these advanced features. The Ranger comes with a lot of extras at no extra cost. They include a carrying case, rubber boot, wrist lanyard, mini USB cable, instrument stand, batteries, observer USB software, and a certificate of conformance. The Ranger has several options for you to consider, including NIST calibration. The Ranger comes with an electronic calibration, which is usually good enough for verifying radiological conditions. However, any legal related activities will require having the instrument calibrated via an actual radiation source that's been calibrated to NIST. This is an option that can be purchased at the time of order. Calibration cycles of one year are recommended. Check source. Before taking the instrument into the field, it's always best practice to use a small unregulated 10 microcurie cesium-137 check source to verify the instrument is operating and responding correctly. A wipe test plate can be purchased to measure smears and other samples. The test plate provides a repeatable geometry between the detector and the sample inside the test plate holder. Waterproof. The Ranger housing is splash proof, but not waterproof. If your work environment is very wet or even super dirty, you may want to buy the outer protective housing which comes with a hand strap and wrist lanyard. The enclosure provides IPX5 waterproof protection and IP6X for dust ingress. In conclusion, whether you're looking for your first radiation survey meter or replacing an older unit, you simply cannot go wrong with a Radiation Alert Ranger. These are usually on the shelf and can be shipped the next day. If you order it with the optional NIST calibration, it can take an extra few days before it's shipped. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Geiger Counter Pro.